Hey guys, and welcome to part 18 of our shooter game. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit weird, but I think it's going to be a really cool effect for our enemies. Okay, now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the enemies, and I am going to uh, make something. It's going to be a little bit of a stain when uh, the enemies die. They're going to make a little bit of a stain. You don't have to do this if this is a little bit too gruesome to you, but it just gives a little bit more of an effect, in my opinion. It is not usually that noticeable. Uh, the ground is white, so it could be pretty noticeable versus that. Uh, so we could probably change the uh, plain background. But we just have that. We want, don't want an outline. And we can just kind of like... Right, we don't want an outline at all. Okay, now I've got our little stains, and so what we're going to do, actually I'll say, I'm going to name these, this one is going to be a blue stain. Okay, now I've named them all. Okay, so I just tried it out, and I do not think that this is going to be the best way, so I'm going to make a new sprite and call this enemy stains. I know this is kind of gross, but alright, so we're just going to go... And I'm going to move this up to the enemies, so just kind of get it right next to that. Put that right there. And uh, I'm just going to transfer over these four um, pictures, these graphic images. And I'm going to uh, delete these ones that we have, like that. And now instead of switching to that costume, which is what I had tried, and then I did not show it to you guys because we just have to undo it. Um, what we're going to do instead is we're going to uh, tell the enemies to die somewhere. So we're going to say, uh, dead guys, that's not where we want to do it, but we'll say uh, enemy location for all sprites. And this one, what we're going to do is we're going to add three things to this um, enemy location list. We are going to add the X position and Y position of what we are, and then we're going to be say what we are. So this is a normal one, so we're just going to do blue because the normal ones are blue. For you, you can do your color, or what you can do is just do normal, that works too. Uh, whoops. Okay, we are going to add that right there and we're going to add this right there oh my goodness this is acting weird on me so we're, now we're going to do this one orange we're going to add this right here right there Here we will add this here, and this one is going to be the strong one, so we'll make this red, and red, okay, now this one is green, and it is going to be right here. And right here okay so now we're gonna go over here and we're going to say when flag clicked we are going to hide and then we're going to forever say if greater than the length of 
uh, enemy location gets greater than zero, so it just now has something in it. Once it has something in it, it is going to switch the costume to, it's going to go to and switch the costume to item one, two of enemy location. Item one and two, and then it's going to switch the costume to item three. And we're just going to name all these, uh, uh, you know, we're not going to have stain afterwards. We're just going to have blue, orange, red, and green. Perfect. Now we're going to go like that. And we are going to set the, we're going to show, actually what we're going to do after we do that is we're going to create clone of myself. And then we are going to delete all of the enemy location. And it's going to wait for the next time when one comes greater and it's going to do the exact same thing. So now when it starts as a clone, it's going to show, but it's going to have a little bit of, it's going to set the uh, ghost effect to 50. So it'll be kind of faded and then um, we will just wait, uh, pick random one to two to make it look more natural and then it's going to uh, delete itself and but right before it deletes itself it's going to come off the screen in a pretty smooth looking way so we're going to change uh, the ghost effect by 20 twice right before it deletes itself alright so let's see what happens here okay so that was not supposed to happen. I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to delete all of the enemy location at the beginning. Alright, so we start it. And let's just see what happens here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Those enemies are quite big. We need to make sure to set them. At, well, I'm just going to set them at 100 and see if it changes back again. Okay, I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Alright, that looks not exactly what I want, because that looks pretty gruesome. But it is, um, it's not switching to the right one every time. I believe it could be because it might be capitalized, uh, like capitalized sensitive. So this needs to be uh, lowercase. Alright, let's see if that's right. Play. Yeah, I think so. Alright, that is pretty gross. That's not, I was not going for the gross factor by any means. I was just trying to make it have a nice effect. I think it needs to be a little more uh, like 75. And then I'm going to make the background a color to make it look a little bit less uh, like noticeable, I guess. So I'm going to make it like a gray kind of. We'll just do that. Let's just see what that's like. So I'll play. Alright. I don't really like the gray versus gray kind of color. Like the wave color. So maybe we'll make this like a. A red. I don't know. Maybe like a. Green maybe. Ooh, maybe we'll do that color. That color looks all right. Wave one. Okay, it still does not look the greatest, but all right. That that looks pretty good because it's, you know, I don't. I think the little like dots are a little bit. They make it look like a liquid that was just splattered on the ground, and that kind of seems a little bit gross to me. We'll just uh, we'll make this a little bit more like circular I guess yeah I'm not going for the gross factor for this if you are then you can do what you want but for me I'm just trying to make it so that it looks like like something it just makes it look a little bit more professional I guess all right let's see what that's like
Okay, so it looks like they're just disappearing. And they're not, like, slowly disappearing. Uh, so let's make it, like, ten. And then four. Or maybe, like, five and eight or something. All right, that looks that looks pretty good. I think it looks better than not at all, so I'm just going to keep it. Uh, I think instead of making it look exactly the same every time, I'm going to set the size to pick random 90 to 110, and I'm going to set the orientation of it also random, uh, and then we'll see if there's any other characteristics about it that... I think uh, the ghost effect also could be changed slightly to make it like 70 to 85 or something. Let's see if they make a stain off of them, yeah. That's actually looking pretty good. If you don't want to do that, if it's just too gross to you, that's fine. But I don't think people are going to really notice it, especially when uh, later in the game we have lots of stuff on the ground and stuff. It's just going to be something more of an effect to add, kind of like add to the chaos of death. If it just looks too clean and too orderly, it seems like people, somebody didn't put enough time into it. And there's not like much effect, it's just a simple game. Uh, but, like, in actual nature, in real life, there's a lot of, like, chaos and this kind of stuff, and more, like, stuff happening. There's birds in the background and stuff. Speaking of that, uh, we should, we're gonna put sound effects in our game. I think that, for this video, it's too late, but we can add sound effects in the next video. So that'll be cool. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Hi again. I'm just the guy at the end to tell you to subscribe. Alright, go do it. Bye.